We are a family of six. My husband, Michael, is in the IT profession. I am a homeschool mom of four. Will is 16 and a junior in high school. My 12-year-old Rachel is in the seventh grade. I have a second grader, Hudson, who is seven years old, and Charlie is three. Reading is absolutely critical in our family life. My husband and I have always read to our kids from the time that they were just tiny babies. You know, when you have a really little person at home and they're awake during the hour, sometimes there's just not a whole lot of exciting things to do with a person who is really cuddly and adorable but needs stimulus. So even from the time they were really small, we would read cloth books or bathtub books or whatever kinds of toy books would entertain them. Learning to love reading at an early age, it really prepares you to seek out stories that you enjoy. And by stories, I don't mean just literature. Stories can mean history as well. It's really helpful when it comes to appreciating culture. It's that whole philosophy of read and you'll know. If you can read, you can learn anything that you want to. And we really wanted to give the kids the keys to that as early as possible and let them find their own ability to control their knowledge. The best thing you can do is read with your child. It really helps build strong relationships. I remember when I was little, I just felt so comforted when um, my mom read to me. Think of it as quality time. I mean, it's really just an opportunity to snuggle a little person that you love and share an experience together. Look at pictures, point things out. It doesn't all have to be like, I'm gonna pick out you know, the whole you know, Dr. Seuss catalog of books and we're gonna work through all of them today. It's an opportunity to do something fun together and to notice things and to observe what catches your child's eye. Hang out on a page, read the words and point to them if you feel like it. But if they're not interested in that, just looking at the pictures and talking about what they see. A zebra. A tiger. A tiger. Those look like little lions in the background. Reading is just as important to every family, I think, as, as it is to ours. It's one of those things that the sooner that your child feels capable and excited to read, whether it's the same kinds of books that you would choose for them or not, they are um, they're controlling what goes into their minds and the way that they can think about things and engage with their world in a, in a new way. And that's really beautiful and wonderful to see that kind of growth and development. And it's so neat to think that that's something that we can foster and encourage as little as from infancy, that we can start when they're just that tiny and introduce them to this thing that we want them to kind of grab hold of and take captive of and make their own as they grow.